This is Sierra Echo, the world's coolest electric race car built here in Utah by Sierra Cars and Hypercraft. Last week, we ripped it on the pavement and the gravel. This week, we're in the desert. But first, I'm calling the winner of my giveaway to let him know he won. I don't know why I'm nervous. Let's Who go. is this? Hey, it's the Ronster. What? I just want to let you know, you won the giveaway. The go-kart? Yes, sir. I'm sitting in front of you right now. So we got the $10,000 in cash, or we got the 70 mile per hour go-kart. Everyone's dying to know. What are you going to pick? I'm probably going to have to take the cart. Let's go! I've been watching your content for a while. I don't have a sir on. I'm also a little relieved that you're an adult. This thing's pretty crazy, dude. Let's go! On that incredible note, let's get back to the video. Did your buddy just tip his machine over? What happened? Drive over there, I don't uh, know. Oh no. Don't drive over there. Here we are inside the cockpit. It couldn't be easier. We got the gas and the brake down there. Got power steering up front. Handbrake, emergency stop, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and the power settings. In last week's video, I was ripping this car and I was in the lowest power mode the entire time and it didn't even occur to me to turn it up. But I think today I'm gonna try to turn it up. This place, I'll tell you the dangerous part. Okay. Uh, shit you can't see and bumps. You can be out sliding sideways. It's real smooth and flat. And you see these bushes? It, it's cool to hit a bush, but if you're sideways and you clip it, it can have the tendency to kick the car up. <laughs> Thank you so much! I'm gonna go chase him. Let's do it! Massive shout out to Sierra Cars and Hypercraft for letting me try this. I flew out to Utah for this, and it was the best decision I've ever made. We're starting out here in the dry lake bed, which is really exciting because we can just dodge all these little plants. Starting off in the lowest power mode, get comfortable. There's another Sierra car up here. He's gas. He's 700 cc's Yamaha engine. Let's see if I can get close to him. This thing is so powerful, it's 400 volts. Anytime you touch the gas, even in the lowest power mode, you're spinning the wheel, you're drifting. Wow, look at this. We got the Talaria boys out today with the drone. Let's see if we can get some shots.
so fun! and just goosing it. Yes. Like Are we gonna get some sick photos? <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's sick. Look at this. Now I'm driving the 700cc Sierra car. Feels familiar. You know, there's some similarities here, but this one has a clutch pedal. So, big difference on this one no power steering, limited suspension travel, so it's going to be rough and it's going to be hard to steer. Um, and there's a clutch, and it requires that you shift. Your shifter is going to be here all the way forward. Just push it forward. You can't hurt anything. You're in first gear. It's a clutch. Uh, go ahead and feel it with your left foot. It's short. Do I want to go all the way to the end of it? Every time. When you bring the clutch up, you'll feel it start to engage like, oh, it's starting to want to bite. Mm -hmm. That's the point where you start to add throttle. Wow, this is really... I'm excited. Well, this, this thing's raw, man. So uh, with the clutch to clutch press, in. press the gray button for the starter. Whoa. That's sick. Cylinder. Yeah. One big fat cylinder making some power. <laughs> so just go ahead and grab the shifter and push it forward. Uh -huh. Hold it there. Don't continue release. Hold it there and then add the throttle. Let's go. Okay, I'm in second gear, I think. Whoa. Okay, so there's a road here, foot on the clutch, let's go.
idea how I'm how I haven't stalled yet. Sand dune. It's more overwhelming. I, I, Very wrong. <laughs> there's the there's the electric, the Sierra Echo. How is that not a dream car? It's like a fighter jet on wheels. Dude, thank you so much. Shout out to Talaria boys for coming out today to help me film. I just lost my 360 cam off the cart, so I'm using his bike to go find it. There's no way I'm gonna find this. It's right there! Let's go! Nah, there's no way. <laughs> Let's go. Secured. I was really on my way back. I, I just gave up. I was riding around for 25 minutes trying to find this. And I found it! Let's go! Shout out to Lario Boys letting me part of the Tolario. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna go hit a hill climb. So Sierra Cars, who makes this, is coming out with the Sierra Base, which is Basically the exact same thing, but for consumers as opposed to racers and I'm gonna get one I don't think I can't think of anything else I'd rather spend my money on than something like this because it's electric I'm pretty sure I can get it street legal imagine this in your garage taking this to school taking this to the grocery shop Would you get a Sierra car a base model for consumers like this? Oh, no oh, Let's back up. Let's back up Nope, I just dusted me. <laughs> hey, I see you, bro. My bad, I got stuck up here. I'll go get the winch, don't worry. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Never try to slow down on uphill. Like, I park on downhills. Like, that's that's where I choose to stop. Like, belly on the bottom. Gotcha. That's the move. Yeah. You need to figure it out, though, new guy. <laughs> Just eating it up with like very little traction. <laughs> that felt so cool. There you go. That's the Sierra Echo built by Sierra Cars and Hypercraft here in Utah. Thank you so much to Sierra Cars and Hypercraft for letting me drive the Sierra Echo. Keep in mind they're selling these as a consumer base model coming soon. So if you're into this, I'll have everything linked down below. As always. Thank you so much for watching. As they do.